Royal weddings are the stuff dreams are made of, so it was no surprise that the romance of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle captured headlines across the globe. But there are plenty of less-known royal couples around the world whose enchanted lives deserve the attention of any royal watcher. It's not every day a reality TV star and a prince fall in love, but that's exactly what happened to Prince Carl Philip and Sophia Helkfist. When the prince was introduced to the Paradise Hotel finalist after coming out of a 10-year relationship, the pair described it as love at first sight. Prior to her wedding in June 2015, the princess-to-be told Swedish Channel TV4, "...the first thing I noticed about Carl Philip was that he seemed very humble. When I got to know him, I saw that he was incredibly natural, very intelligent, and very humble." Prince Carl Philip also gushed about his then bride to be, saying, I don't think I knew the magic of love before I met Sophia, but ever since I met her, I've seen how love can change a person. Not long after the engagement, the Swedish media jumped on the fact that Helkfist had previously modeled topless with a boa constrictor, but the princess didn't seem bothered. She told news outlets that she had long since moved on and had no regrets. She said on Swedish television, All these experiences have made me the person I am. I wouldn't have made those choices today. Upon marriage, Helkfist became Princess Sophia, Duchess of Vermland. The Duke and Duchess are doting parents to two children, Prince Alexander and Prince Gabriel. In December 2020, the couple announced they were expecting their third child. When many were making efforts to leave Greece at the height of its economic crisis in 2015, Prince Nikolaus and Princess Tatiana of Greece and Denmark made the decision as a couple to move back, despite the fact that his father, the former King Constantine II, had been deposed. The prince told GQ, "...we came to the conclusion there was nothing stopping us. We don't have any children yet, so it wasn't a question of putting children in new schools or worrying about how they were going to adapt. So we said if we're going to do it, it's got to be now, and I haven't regretted it at all." The pair, who married in 2010 seemed to be settling into Greek life, with Princess Tatiana often posting selfies of the couple hiking or taking walks with their dog on her Instagram. Despite marrying into the once royal family, she insists the pair are as normal as normal can be, although she has been known to sport a tiara now and again. She told Vogue in 2016, "...I live a very simple life here. I work, I go to the supermarket, I cook, I walk my dog. The Greek people have welcomed me like they would anyone else." King Abdullah II and Queen Rania of Jordan met at a dinner party and married six months later in 1993. Abdullah wasn't originally supposed to be king. It was a shock when his father, before his death, switched his designated successor from his brother to his firstborn son. The queen said in a 2016 interview with Stellar, "...that was obviously a defining moment in my life. On the one hand, we were coming to terms with the enormity of losing King Hussein, an inspirational leader and peacemaker. And at the same time, we were dealing with the enormous responsibility responsibility we had just been handed, effective immediately, and I wasn't expecting that at the age of 28." Despite her sudden ascension to the throne, Queen Rania spoke with 60 Minutes about how she insisted on driving her own car, picking up her children from school, and mixing with the people of Jordan. Their reign has still been anything but ordinary. King Abdullah has been known to sneak out in disguise to check on his kingdom, and Queen Rania has spearheaded several educational initiatives as well as her own YouTube channel. She told Stellar, "...His Majesty is my truest friend, my confidant, my role model. I feel truly blessed and grateful for him every day." Who could forget the fairy tale nuptials of Prince William and commoner Kate Middleton? The college sweethearts met while at St. Andrews University, which just so happens to be coined Britain's top matchmaking university, according to ABC News, and were friends before they began dating. The pair even lived together as friends, and the prince, to his credit, pulled out all the stops to woo his bride to be. Prince William said in an interview with Sky News following the engagement, "When I was um, trying to impress Kate, um, I was trying to cook these amazing fancy dinners, and all that would happen was I'd burn." Something, something would overspill, something would catch on fire." The pair even split for a bit, but this royal couple was meant to be. After years of dating, the prince popped the question in Kenya with his mother Princess Diana's engagement ring. The happy Duke and Duchess of Cambridge have three children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. The king and queen of the Buddhist kingdom of Bhutan on the Himalayas' eastern edge were a longtime couple and lived together before marrying in a traditional ceremony. King Jigmi Kazor Namgyal Wangchuk, an Oxford graduate, reportedly first met his future bride, Jetsun Pema, the daughter of an airline pilot, when she was just seven years old and he was 17. The pair later fell in love, which the king attributes to their shared passion of the arts and the queen's intelligence. He told the Washington Post after the ceremony in 2011, "...I have been waiting for quite 
takes some time to get married, but it doesn't matter when you get married as long as it is to the right person. I am certain I am married to the right person. The king and queen are not the kind to shy from mixing with their subjects and can often be found visiting hospitals or schools. The pair are also active on social media. They routinely share photos of their travels as well as some of the fellow royal guests they've hosted, like Will and Kate. The pair welcomed their first child, Jigmi Namgyal Wangchuk, in February 2016. They later welcomed a second son, Prince Jigmi Ugyen, in 2020. Princess Mette Merit was a single mother when the Crown Prince of Norway swept her off her feet. Since their 2001 wedding, the pair have had two children together and are going strong. The heir to the throne and his commoner wife can't help but praise one another in interviews. The prince said in an interview to national newspaper Dagbladet, We're normal and vulnerable people. Mette has this great talent of connecting with people so that they open up and feel good. Her empathy is a talent. The same thing happens with the children. If they have problems, they go to her. She knows how to deal with them well. But the princess was quick to return the compliment, stating, Thanks, Hakan, but that isn't completely true. The children also go to you asking for advice and help. The crown princess has also thrived in her role as soon-to-be heir, championing human rights issues and working as a UN AIDS International Goodwill Ambassador. I feel incredibly fortunate both to have met my fantastic husband, but also to have this platform to work on issues that I really, really care about. Few royals captured the imagination like American-born actress Grace Kelly. Now her grandsons and granddaughters are keeping the glamour of the royal line alive. One of her grandsons, Prince Andrea, the eldest son of Princess Caroline and Stefano Casiraghi, followed in his grandfather's footsteps and also fell in love with an American woman. He proposed to his future bride, New York-born Tatiana Santo Domingo, after several years of dating. They got married in 2013. Tatiana is the co-owner of an ethical fashion line Mzungu sisters, and the couple have three children together. It might be hard to imagine royals who don't live in the lap of luxury, but Princess Beatrice Borromeo is content to stay at home cooking and wearing skinny jeans. No tiara for this princess. She told Glamour in an interview, I remember when I first started dating my husband, he was like, do you not have a dress? Are you a girl or what? But don't be fooled, she isn't another commoner turned royal. Beatrice is an Italian aristocrat whose family comes from ancient noble lineage. The younger brother of Prince Andrea Casiraghi, Prince Pierre married Beatrice in a 2015 civil ceremony at the Prince's Palace Salon. Later, they held an opulent religious service on the scenic Lake Maggiore in Italy. That same year, Beatrice, a journalist who holds a master's from Columbia University, became the Special Envoy for Human Rights for Fashion for Development, a United Nations-affiliated organization. Seattle native and fashion model Kendra Spears was once a fixture of catwalks and graced the pages of high-end fashion magazines like Italian Vogue. But those days seem to be behind her since she became Princess Salwa Aga Khan, wife of Prince Rahim Aga Khan. His father, Aga Khan IV, is the hereditary Iman, or spiritual leader, of the Shia Ismaili Muslims. The prince and the princess now have two children, Prince Irfan and Prince Sinan. The proud grandfather, Aga Khan IV, announced the birth of the second prince in 2017, stating that the new baby has brought immense joy to our family. But this isn't the first star-studded wedding for this royal family. Prince Rahim's grandfather, Prince Ali Khan, was married to Hollywood bombshell Rita Hayworth from 1947 to 1953. Imagine going out to a nightclub with some friends, meeting a guy, and falling in love. Then later you find out he's a prince. That actually happened to Ariana Austin when she met Joel Makonnen. Makonnen, who's also known as Prince Yoel, is the great-grandson of Haile Selassie, the last emperor of Ethiopia. The pair met over a decade ago in a Washington nightclub when the prince hit her with what he thought was a stellar pickup line. Makonnen told the New York Times, I said, you guys look like an ad for Bombay Sapphire or whatever the gin was. Not even five minutes later, I said, you're going to be my girlfriend. Austin, a Harvard graduate of Guyanese descent, also had her own family legacy. Her grandfather was the Lord Mayor of Georgetown, the capital of Guyana. The prince opened up to her about his past, how he grew up in Switzerland, where his parents were living in exile from Ethiopia after political upheaval. After several years of dating on and off, the prince popped the question and the pair wed in an Ethiopian Orthodox ceremony in 2017. Austin shared a photo to her Instagram in December 2017 of the pair celebrating their first Christmas together as a married couple. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite royal couples are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.